Hello, and welcome to this quick video presentation showcasing the NetApp AltaVault cloud-based appliance in Amazon Web Services, also known as the AltaVault AMI. We'll introduce and go over the cloud-based AltaVault appliance and how this model fulfills an important requirement that has become increasingly popular as customers embrace data protection and archives to public cloud storage, the ability to recover a production environment into an Amazon public cloud environment. To begin, let's start off with a quick introduction to the pieces of this solution. AltaVault is a cloud-integrated storage appliance that enables you to securely and efficiently leverage public and private cloud as part of your backup and recovery strategy. AltaVault seamlessly integrates with your existing backup software and will deduplicate, compress, encrypt, and stream your data to the cloud provider of your choice. AltaVault intelligently caches recent backups locally while vaulting older versions to the cloud, allowing for rapid restores with off-site protection. This results in a cloud economics-driven backup and recovery strategy with faster recovery, reduced data loss, ironclad security, and minimal management overhead. Now, let's take a look at an example scenario. Say you've taken the first step in backing up a production environment to the cloud using AltaVault appliances. That's great because you are now leveraging the highly elastic, scalable, and cost-effective aspects of public cloud storage to reduce administration, cost, and complexity for performing data protection, while at the same time also significantly increasing your disaster recovery posture. Remember, a backup solution is only as good as its ability to get that data back. Then, let's say a disaster strikes your primary production data center, like a fire or a flood, and your entire environment is destroyed. Well, traditionally, you'd have a second environment located elsewhere, in which you'd be able to restore the production environment to. Perhaps you've established a secondary location with a virtual AltaVault appliance to quickly recover the production environment. But given the scale and cost of operating a cold or warm standby facility, Along with the equipment, security, and storage, many users are also looking at the public compute cloud as a possible secondary DR facility instead. Since it can be spun up and used for only as long as you need it, companies can save significant resources and cost versus operating a true secondary DR site. With AltaVault appliances, this type of recovery is now a reality. Leveraging the Amazon Marketplace, cloud-based AltaVault appliances can now be spun up within the EC2 environment of AWS to provide you access to your backup environment and production systems, which can now be restored and placed into Amazon's EC2 compute environment. This can serve as a recovery environment while the production data center is being restored, and AltaVault in turn can be used to back up new data generated by the environment so that regular backup schedules are not missed. Deploying the Amazon cloud-based AltaVault appliance into EC2 is actually quite easy. Simply find the AltaVault appliance you wish to deploy by searching the Amazon Marketplace. When the product page appears, you will need to select the region you want the AltaVault appliance to be placed into. On the next page, you'll want to confirm the security key pair that will be used to communicate with the appliance once it's running, and then click the Accept and Launch with One Click button to begin deploying the AltaVault appliance. The initialization process will take some time, so let's jump ahead to the end of this process. When the instance completes deployment, we can locate it within the AWS Management Console. If the instance isn't automatically started after initialization completes, let's go ahead and spin it up. After it's up and running, let's log into the appliance. Capture the public DNS name of your appliance and start a SSH program such as PuTTY. You'll want to SSH to the appliance using the security key pair file that you generated and set up for the AltaVault instance. If you're using Windows and PuTTY, refer to the following AWS page to properly configure the key pair file for use with PuTTY. When you log in for the first time as an admin user, you'll note that the AltaVault appliance does not prompt for a password. You'll need to configure this first using the commands shown here. We'll also take a minute to configure the data cache volume, which we can perform using the command AWS setup data partition. 
Once these two actions are done, we'll then be able to use the Altafold console to configure other aspects of the appliance, such as the cloud provider, like Amazon S3 or Glacier, and the SIF share or NFS mounts. Alternatively, you can import the configuration from an existing Altafault using the setup wizard, if you'd rather use the Altafault for DR purposes instead. With that, this concludes the quick video on deploying an Altafault cloud-based appliance in AWS. Thanks for watching. For more information about Altavault, visit us on the web at www.netapp.com/altavault.